Anybody want to buy a set of um, Pro Armor harnesses? Because uh, I'm about ready to sell them. Get ready to slip off. Wow! That felt great! They're not for sale anymore. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Burl on my shoulder, heart full of blues out in the dirt. Down in the dirt. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Justin. Today we are over at Gary's house. I'm going to be installing a set of Pro Armor harnesses on his 2021 RZR XP1000. He already has the seats taken out, the center console kind of removed. It's all taken apart, it's just laying in there. We've done this in about every other accessory install video we've done on this RZR. So if you need to look that up to see how to take the center console out, go back to one of these previous videos. We are gonna try to kick off Gary's channel a little bit too. Go ahead and link his channel right up here. What's the name of your channel? Time out. Can I look? Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. That's what happens when you get old, guys. You play hard, work hard, and you drink some beer. That's what happens. You forget stuff a lot. A lot. Busted underscore knuckles off-road. Perfect. So I'll link that right here. Go give Gary a follow. His channel will be a little more uh, uncut and uncensored than my channel will be. I like to have fun. And uh, I like to have fun, too, but... <laughs> I'm just a little bit more wild than Justin is, just, so... Just a little bit, just... so... <laughs> so anyway let's uh turn this whole thing over to gary and let him tell you what he is doing let me get... oh, you don't have to do that are we are we live mm -hmm. okay so now that i'm famous and i have this microphone thing on me that's pretty cool <clears throat> so basically I, um i've heard good things about the pro armor harnesses and Justin bought some and he really liked them and I really liked them. I like the padding, the way they're, they're made and the webbing's really tight and, and it seems to be pretty good. So I was like, heck, I'm gonna buy some. They're actually pretty cheap. So I went with that. Pretty simple install really, as long as you ain't lazy. That's why it took so long to do this. I just didn't want to do it. I'm sitting in the garage for a few weeks now. You know, anybody who owns an RZR already knows you have your mounting areas back here. Um, and you can run a bolt through them. I went and bought some bolts. Window that I bought through Super ATV that about broke my finger off. They run right through there. They have a little area for it. So that's that's really nice. And then down here, what we're gonna have to do is, I've got the center console just up. I didn't take it all the way out. Is we're gonna have to bolt <clears throat> the uh, bottom half of this to the factory part. And then also I have seat belt deletes um, that, that I bought when I bought the harnesses so my limp mode won't come on and I'll be able to cruise along just fine. But I am going to keep my factory installed seat belts just for the simple fact that if I'm road cruising, I'll have these. They're out of the way. These I'll be able to put to the side. They'll be out of the way. So I'm going to try it. If it becomes a problem, then I'll remove them. But I don't think it's going to be. I, I like the idea of having two, one for road and one for off-road, so that's what we'll do. It's a very large star bit. I couldn't tell you the size. <clears throat> good gosh. Woo! Sucker's in there, boys. Like, it's in there good. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a set of um, Pro Armor harnesses? Because uh, I'm about ready to sell them. Hi, guys. So we found that the... Uh, I didn't, know. we didn't. Justin found that the 19 millimeter would uh, run the back off. I'm gonna look at this and see why it didn't do anything else. Let 
maybe because it's pressed into this. That's why it's pressed into that. So yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that crap. <sighs> okay. They're not for sale anymore. Now that I have that off, what I'm going to do is mount this end, which does not adjust. It is actually fixed. So I'm going to ask Justin's opinion on this. The back side or in between. I do it on the back side. Back side? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Drop this down in. I'll feed this back here behind. If I took these out, it'd be really I think oh, so I just much. Go, I just go in front. What? In front? Are you going in between? You're going in between them right now, right? Oh, accidentally. Not now. Right there? Yep. This is a pain in the rear, I'm just here to tell you. I'm just gonna take these out. I'm just taking them out. All right. <laughs> taking them out. I'm done. Game over. So we decided to take these out because Justin will bleep it on your on this channel, but it's a pain in the ass. That's why. That's God's honest truth. I'll get that out in a second. Oh, there's another bolt. I gotta get rid of. So this is 17 up here and 19 down below and it almost looks like a 12 or a 13 on here. So you don't need a 19, a 17, and a 13 to take this seat belt off. Was it spinning? Yeah. Still spinning? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. Got that loose. Gonna take this out. That's that rubber piece that holds your seat belt. Gives you a little flag, so. Looks like I'll be back road cruising with no seat belt, which is whatever. Uh oh. That's out. I'm gonna save my so I'm gonna shove it back through here. So I went ahead and deleted the factory seat belts to install these. So I'll tighten them up here in a second, but it looks like that's how we're going to do this. I was gonna leave the back undone so once I install a seat, that's gonna be a simple bolt back there um so i can adjust these to the size that i need otherwise what you'll run into is trying to get this all undone and loose so you can adjust it is a little complicated but for now i just we have it finger tight that way it holds it in place um and we'll do the same to that side and then we'll adjust it and tighten them up after that This is fun. Makes you want to run the sun off the cliff. Gosh darn. Oh my gosh. You're going to slip off. Wow! That felt great. Uh oh! If you have 
haven't experienced doing that, you need to do it at least once. Oh my God. Ow, that hurts so bad. Oh, oh my gosh, dang. <laughs> I hate this thing. I swear I hate this. Let me... This is where beer comes in handy. Um, yeah, really handy. All right, so we got that undone. I had to call in a backhoe to hold one side of it and so I can get it done. But it's undone, it's loose. The only thing is, is the factory plug for your uh, seat belts. It's right here. It's pretty simple. Push up, pull out. Good to go. She's out. So, that's what I think about that. I have my uh, deletes. That's what I call them anyway. Right here. And I'm just going to plug this bad boy right in. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right here. Down in here. I'm going to try to do it with one hand. Probably I'm not going to succeed. But, uh... Somehow get in there and probably helps if I take that off. So. It's all in the footing, people. It's all in the footing. Trust me. This is taking longer than I want it to. Okay. All right, let me regroup. <laughs> Jeez. What in the world? There is not nothing simple about this procedure here. I'm telling you. Am I putting it in wrong or something? Or? Did I get it? I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. I think I did. I'm gonna turn the key on and find out. No seatbelt light. I'd be pretty mad if the seatbelt light comes on when I go do this. Out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, this one. Actually, I'm going to have to go through here. Um, time out. Break the time. All right, so we got the seats back in. We've tightened everything up on the bottom, uh, which we showed you, uh, where the, the two mounting points, also the bypass for the seat belt. We tightened the top up. I sit in here. Justin was so kind to adjust this to, to my stature. And... It's kind of now, like, it's kind of like borderline Greek god. It pretty pretty much like Buddha, kind of. <laughs> um, your Buddha size, it will fit because I took a lot out. But uh, for the most part, they feel really comfortable, really soft. Uh, the cool thing about these, they come with a light you can put in here. Also has a cell phone holder if you want to put it there. I don't because I have my RAM mount. We uh, tighten the top up after we adjusted them. And then we also tighten the bottom down. The seats are back in, the console is back in, so everything's good and tight and ready to go. Now it's just to flip this sucker and see how good they do. I'm gonna try not to do that. But I will tell you on this side, uh, or I'm sorry, on the passenger side, it was a lot more difficult to tighten things down. It was real tight in there because of the gas. Fuel cell over there is, is making it really tough for us. So uh, it took a little bit of time and uh, a couple beers to get that finished, but uh, we got it done. So I'm not selling my Pro Armor uh, things we got them in. You never know, stay tuned, I might sell something. You just never know what's gonna happen if you don't fit right. Thanks for tuning in, continue to watch. Got some great stuff coming up, got some good off-road stuff I think me and Justin's gonna do over the summer. Probably a good trip down to Mississippi, see our buddies, my new buddies down there at uh, Main Street uh, Cycle, is that correct, Main yep. Street Cycle? In Mississippi and uh, he got to go. I didn't get to go last time, but uh, I'm definitely going to make a trip down there and meet all the guys. They seem really nice and uh, and great prices on rims and tires. Got my tires. I did get my tires. They're not on here yet. Waiting on my rims. They were back ordered like everything else because of this COVID junk, but uh, they'll be here soon. Good guys. They'll take care of you. They'll hook you up whether you have a C CF Moto, a Polaris, probably a K&M. I don't know for sure what they sell, but I know they hooked me up with Polaris stuff and he's got a CF Moto. 
So my guess is they they have the grabs on anything they want for any side by side. Make sure you check them out, uh, Main Street Cycle down in Mississippi. Check them them guys out. They're really good to deal with and super nice people. So anything uh, you want to add, Justin? We just like to have fun, play on our toys. So make sure you holler at us. Say hey, we know you're. We've seen your videos or whatever. That's that's always fun to meet people that watch. So yeah. uh, come check us out, mommy. So this was all in all not too bad of a job, longer than what I'd take, but it beats owning a Honda any day. Uh, so especially Nick's Honda. Nick's Honda. And if it's Nick's Honda, absolutely not. I'd rather have a bicycle. I'd ride this two wheel suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thanks for checking us out, guys. Have a great day. And don't and be a Nick. Don't be a Nick. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>